Hey everyone, this is Cyrus for iPhoneS.com. Today I'm here to review a very exciting application. It's called Distant Suns. The version that we're reviewing today, it's the full version, Distant Suns Max. The developer Mike Smithwick, he was kind enough to provide us with a review copy a while ago. It, I would say a year and a half ago maybe. But the app has come a long way since then and since we did a text review for it, on iPhoneAppsFinder.com and also we had some giveaways on iPhoneS.com we decided that maybe reviewing it and showing the video would be a very much better idea this application is an award-winning one so you know you're getting value for your money it works in both portrait and landscape modes so that's nice you don't really need an internet connection to start using the app. You can view the earth, you can observe targets. There are over 300,000 stars and objects to choose from and go. It's fully interactive. Inside this holiday issue of Panna, our chefs share recipes that will warm and indulge your family and friends. Michael Tusk brings his authentic... This next dish is my mother's chicken curry and it couldn't be easier. Um, so it's a really Planet great weeknight Earth? supper dish. Uh, it takes about half an hour to make and Not served with white rice. Nice. It's a really nice one. You can have your compass. Different spices or more. I can move the clock out. I can move the candles it to go back and own. forth in time, which is nice. Let's say you want to, you are an amateur astronomer and you want to keep track of events. That's where you use the events here listed. Obviously, it doesn't cover every single event. So, and and I do encourage you guys if you love astronomy, there are a lot of cool people on Google Plus, and they have these parties and these viewing parties, so you can have a lot of fun there. Even if you don't have this application or just have a telescope, so. I think the guys at University Today, they, they have their own hangouts and everything. So you want to check those guys out as well. So these are pretty self-explanatory. The ingredients you'll need for this dish are you have your planets, chicken you have thighs, the sun, you have the moon. On. Onion. Malaysian curry powder. You have the stars. For chicken. Oil. Bay leaf. can see the highlights you do have these preferences as far as how the stars, the styles for each of them and different settings. Let's say I want to show it like that. So you, you do have the, you have to play with it to see what works for you. And um, the app covers, as I mentioned, over 300,000 stars. It also has all the constellations and all the galaxies, star clusters. It also has Hubble images to, for you to use.
as you can see it's uh, fully interactive and as I zoom out you can see all these different details it's very neat it's very well developed I would say and uh, we've tested a lot of other applications in this category so you can you definitely want to test those out as well you do have all eight planets Pl Pluto is optional and you, I'm sure you're familiar with all the issues with whether it's a planet or it's not so so I think I covered most ma the, the major features for this application I still I like this application I do like Lumosity also and I also enjoyed playing around with the star walk and solar walk it really comes down to what you want to do if you just need an application that shows you what's showing in the sky, star sky with augmented reality there are a lot of applications that do that this application also does that but it has more it has stars galaxies and everything else images all kinds of events you can keep up it so it this is more tailored i would say towards people who are more serious about astronomy and as far as they have their own maybe telescope and they have to keep up with the latest events and they they get they keep up with blogs and everything so or maybe they're just learning and this application can act as a really uh decent learning tool so i'd like to see what you think of this application i uh, if you have any comments for us or for the developer if you have any issues with the app please leave them in the comment section and uh, I do encourage you to test all the other apps astronomy apps that we have tested I can't say if this app is right for you because some people need more features some people need less features some people need a specific features let's say you just want to have the uh, find dark skies and you probably wouldn't want to buy this app you want to buy dark sky, sky finder so there are just different things people have different needs so you want to know what you want before investing let's say 9.99 or 2.99 or 4.99 in an astronomy application again thanks again for watching i i hope you enjoyed this review for more information go to iphoneappsfinder.com thanks very much for support you guys